Good evening everyone. So today we're gonna have a quick tutorial about this amazing uh, website, amazing chat that's using AI to generate answers. So as you probably already use this website, probably play around with it. It's very nice. I'm still learning right now. I'm watching tutorials how we can improve my work and how it can help me out to speed up the workflow and uh, maybe something that I can learn from it so let's go to the chat so here you can see the interface it's chat GPT uh, so I think it's pretty good uh, in terms of generating content when it comes to UX, it does not generate any UI or it can't recommend you the UI idea. So at the moment it has this limitation, but from UX point of view, just one can create your user stories or uh, uh, design system uh, list that you need of the element that has to be there or you can create you an a template for the email that you say you want your feedback from your manager or your product owner and it will create really really good email it will create a better email that I would create to be honest so I think it's very cool so let's see so I have some questions right here let's ask him see what <laughs> he will generate I'm gonna be honest, I already tried. Uh, I think the list is pretty good. So let's create uh, create original user story for a online learning app. So this is what I'm currently working on. So I'm wondering what is going to generate, to be honest. So as a student, yeah. So you can see it's generating really nice user story. To be honest, it, the user story always takes me so much time because you need to cover so many topics here and I think it's, that it's doing a pretty good job so if you formulate your question in different way it will give you different bits and pieces of the user story so you can combine them and it will probably save you a lot of time to be honest one of the important things that I think you would, would be good to ask is what the uh, deliverables do we need so for the learning platform so we can hand over to the developers so you will create uh, a list of deliverables this is this calendar view your deadlines of coming in a learning yeah it's not exactly what I expected to create but yeah this is probably downside you can have an option to resubmit here stuff deliverables for pairs for the developers let's see home page layout course list yeah an important question is you have to know what to ask and you've tried to formulate your question really specific otherwise you will give you very very broad answer that probably won't work for you so that's an important tip um, see what you create home page layout and design including header footer and navigation that's correct that's very important course uh, list view including filters and searching yeah that's that's fine uh, dis discuss forum view quizzes feedback view I don't think this is uh, this is important no this is a general idea yeah that's right this is general it's not but i need a specific one let's let's ask another question design online learning platform this is the question that you usually get <coughs> on your brief and uh, you'll kind of have to think of it so if you get an initial tips and inputs I think that would save you a lot of time to see what what you will generate understand the problem first stage designing online learning it's an understanding problem 
trying to solve. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, the user flow. It gives you a design. Uh, <laughs> so basically, what it does, it gives you a design step. So if you <clears throat> go to Google and check design thinking process, this is exactly what is uh, it is generating right now. Uh, so probably we'll have to ask a more specific question. Uh, probably the first. Uh, anyway. Let's move forward. What I really like about this uh, chat AI is if you ask him to create an emails for you, he will do an amazing job. He will create way better email than I'm, that I'm doing, to be honest. And I've been creating email for years. So create an email that requires feedback on UIX or it says feedback from your manager. Let's see what you will create. Uh, dear, so you replace uh, manager's name. I hope he finds you a big request feedback. Live plaza. We have been working hard to create a user friendly and visual peeling design and enhance the user experience. Yeah, and you can see here is he got the points on the oh, what the feedback needs to be on. Okay, so what he actually can help you is. If you just copy, you can replace the specific bullet points with your required uh, actions and the required feedback uh, mockups. I think that could work pretty well because well, it saves you a lot of time. You don't have to think about, let's say, this bit right here and this part. So what you have to actually do is just replace this requirement. So the mockups you need the feedback on and you're pretty much good to go. So yeah, this is uh, how this platform, uh, this chat operates. I will, um, I will keep on uh, testing and, uh, and try it. And if I find something useful that I think oh, is worth sharing, I will share with you guys. But so far, these are the, the options that when it comes to UI design, it's very good of generating copy. It generates really nice copy. So if you need generate, uh, let's say, error messages for your input fields or something, you will create really nice one. Or you need to create uh, to generate a copy for a specific, let's say, one learning platform or something, you will do an amazing job. Or, um, yeah, but when it comes to to UI, which is very important part of a design process, um, it doesn't have these capabilities. Yes, it writes code pretty well, give you give you a pretty well structured code, but it doesn't do the UI bit. So uh, I think they will they will they will be eventually because they got fund from, uh, I think from Microsoft. So yeah, all right, that was a quick tutorial. I hope it's useful for you guys. If you like it, please like and subscribe and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you and have a great day.